Good morning, good afternoon, good evening everybody. This is David Esquire coming to you live at MotorWorks Mini in Minneapolis, Minnesota. And as you guys know, I'm a huge Mini enthusiast, Motoron. And I've had the opportunity and the pleasure of owning now two Mini Coopers. The first one was a Mini Cooper S Clubman, I think is how it's called. And now I currently have the Mini Cooper S Hardtop Zoomer, otherwise known as Rio, in honor of the world's greatest band, Duran Duran. And um, here I am in Minneapolis. I'm shooting some commercials. We're working on the rockumentary for uh, Johnny Z over at Hi-Fi Hair and Records in downtown. And right here next to me is who I would consider to be a rock star. Seriously. And I mean, and I'm not exaggerating, you guys. Seriously. The reason why I wanted to do this is this particular video is a video testimonial about the lady, the rock star, the magnanimously cool and ever so coolly tattooed and fashionable Michelle Shaw here at MotorWorks Mini. I was going to say Minneapolis Mini, uh, but it's MotorWorks Mini. And she's been taking care of my car since I've landed here. And most recently, I ran into a situation two days before I was supposed to fly to Los Angeles to film and photograph Laguna Beach's grad night experience. My car, the Mini Cooper, decided to go and then all of a sudden the engine light turned on and it was running like it had two cylinders instead of four. I don't know what happened. I got on the phone, contacted some people here, we arranged for a car to come get me, brought the car in here the next morning and it stayed here over the weekend. I got on a plane, went to Los Angeles and then Michelle and I started emailing each other back and forth about like what's going on with the car, what does it need. And before I go any further, because sitting next to me is a rock star and I'm taking up all the space here, um, I, I just, you've left me speechless. You really have. <laughs> I'm not kidding. And, but anyways, let me continue. This is Michelle Shaw here at MotorWorks Mini. And why don't you go ahead and share a little bit about yourself and your position here at MotorWorks Mini and what everybody can learn from you and how awesome you are. Thank you, thank you, what an introduction. <laughs> Hi, Michelle, um, I am a service advisor here, one of the couple service advisors at MotorWorks Mini. Um, it's my job and my passion to tell you about your car and teach you and, and um, take care of it and make sure that your car is healthy and running beautifully. Um, I come from an automotive background, I went to school to work on cars, I worked in racing for several years. Uh, when I moved back to Minnesota, I'm from here originally, um, I decided to get into the dealership world and uh, customer service and working with cars because I love being around cars. Cars are my passion. So, mm -hmm. um, and customers like you make my job easy. Easy, easy. <laughs> I love it. I wish that everybody could be like you. Uh, and yeah, so and when you came in and obviously every other time we've pretty much been here has been, a, you know, just a maintenance thing. You haven't had yeah. too many problems with your car at all, which is awesome. Um, yeah. And then that incident that happened with the ignition coils that were faulty is what it was. And um, it was we're glad and happy to take care of you in a heartbeat. Anything we can do to help you and your car out, obviously, is, is what we're here for. So now she's like really downplaying it. She's being modest and cool and like <laughs> I mean, I'm not kidding. She's like, oh, we just fixed this car. It was running. We got it running. It's great. But there's more to it. There really is a lot more to what happened. And I think, you know, it really shows the passion that she has and the professionalism, how she's assertive, she's really atten you know, really attentive to the needs. Uh, prior experience I had here last winter was when I dropped off the car for service for something, probably wipers or who knows, and I got in the loaner. I was about to close the door and Michelle goes, hey, wait, don't you need to get your cup of coffee? You always get a cup of coffee. And I'm like, what? Like, who is this person? Like. She knows me that well to where I come in here and it's like coffee and a banana and I'm good to go first thing in the morning because it all has to be injected right into the arm. That's where the caffeine goes. And this most recent experience, we had some emails. She's letting me know what's wrong with the car. And I said, great, let's go ahead and do the service. Let's get it out of the way. And you know, we had the loaner. Christine was here in town and she was using that. 
no problems, everything's going well. And then I thought, oh my gosh, I need to ask her about the other things that were of concern at that time, which was the drive belt, I think. Mm -hmm. yeah, we had belt. The drive belt. Yep. And then the rear brakes. Correct. Because the rear brakes were trying to be super here, you know, like superhuman in a way. It was like, we're gonna put 30,000 miles on these rear brakes. And the timer, the the uh, the ticker never like started going down, and then all of a sudden it started. And I was like, okay, finally. But I thought the brakes were gonna basically outlast the car. And so I sent her a note and I said, hey, Michelle, you know, what about these other things? You know, what's gonna happen with those? And she goes, oh, we're already done. <laughs> and I mean, I'm like, what? I mean, that really floored me. It, it took me back because being in the service industry, which as a, a filmmaker and a photographer, that's pretty much what I do. And they have that level of top shelf experience from Michelle here at MotorWorks Mini just floored me. I mean, it literally, I read my email on my iPhone in Los Angeles and went, Bob, Bob's with me from Japan, or not Japan, from, excuse me, from Germany, thinking about Japan because we got some other things going on. So I'm like, Bob, uh, 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 and look at this. And he's like, cool. And I'm like, no, really, I didn't ask her to do this. It's like, she did it. That really impresses me. It really does, and so I wanted to sit down and share with you guys my experience here with Michelle at MotorWorks Mini, because if you're here in town, in the Minneapolis Twin City St. Paul, yep. I think, I'm still getting used go. to the cities. <laughs> you got it. I guess I got a little bit of jet lag, so I'm still pretty fried from the last trip and editing and everything. Um, really come here and see her. The, the customer service here is top notch. They've got a fantastic coffee bar, and I mean that, really good coffee bar. They've got an awesome lounge. They've got a terrific selection of accessories. The cars that they have here, take your pick. I mean, I every time I come in here, I'm like, oh, I want that one, and that one, and that one, and that one, and those over there, and that one. <laughs> and I'm like, Santa, just load up a truck. Right. <laughs> it would be so cool. Um, what would you like to share? Because I'm sitting here doing a lot of the talking because it really is. She's awesome. <laughs> but like, how would you like to share with a lot of the followers that are out there that follow you on social media, a lot of the people that really listen to what you have to say with their Mini Coopers, what would you like to share with them on what you can do for them? There's so much that you do. I mean, it's not just service. I mean, really. What would you like to share with them that could help them have that much more of a positive motoring on experience? I mean, I obviously can't take all the credit. Technicians are a big help with, you know, you have the maintenance plan on your car. You came in for a concern because of a check engine light. The maintenance plan kind of, your car told us that it was ready and, and due for the brakes that mm -hmm. um, the dry belt we knew was starting to get cracked covered on the maintenance plan. So it was easy just to get those things done and out of the way, knowing it wouldn't cost you a dime to do those items. Um, the technicians are the ones that find these things and tell us that they need to be done too. So the guys back there are great. They work really hard every day. They're here, you know, five, six days a week. Um, anytime there's anything that's needed on the car, if you have a hesitation about questions, concerns, anything, stop in. We're here to help you, you know, five, six days a week from open to close. You know, we're here 10 hours a day and, and you are, you know, if you need an oil top off, washer fluid top off, tires checked, I mean, if you just want to see if you have no idea like when the next service is, because these cars are so low maintenance, you can go years or a year or 10,000 miles between oil changes. If you have a question, when was the last time I had one done? Come in, like, just stop in anytime during the day. We're, we're here to have, we're happy and here to help with any questions and it's easy for us to look that stuff up and easy for us to top it off and run it through the wash and get you back on your way. So. And that's the other thing, you guys watch and like basically do like a mini detail yeah. it looks like on the car because whenever I pick Rio up, I'm like, ooh, it's all shiny again. We have cool. a dedicated car washer here all day who works, you know, six days a week as well. And so it makes it easy that's for cool. them. So. And with the cars, with like the key fobs that we have, mm -hmm. now you can access all the information on that, right? When yep. you plug it into your computer system here. I gotta ask, I gotta ask, because you guys know that I'm a spirited driver. <laughs> <laughs> we all are in the mini world. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, can you guys see how fast we were going? No. Oh, okay. Woo. <laughs> Not up in your key anyway, so you drive oh. as well as you want, but we can't tell that. We can't tell that by your tires, but other than that. <laughs> <laughs> I could just see that. You'd be like, uh, David, keep it under triple digits, yep. okay? <laughs> And it's, you know, not that I condone or do anything like that. It's all for the racetrack or you do those things, okay? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and you hear that thumping noise? She's like, yeah, right. And that was me getting tossed under the bus. <laughs> only on Thursdays, though, only on Thursdays. Wow. Um, 
seriously, Michelle, I, I'm just so grateful that when I landed here and you started taking care of my car and really taking care of the customer service, it's been top shelf all the way. And this was, like I said, this is the least I can do to sit here and talk to you for a moment and take up a little bit of your time and say, right here, rock star. And I don't use those words lightly. You guys know I don't get blown away and it, she's top shelf all the way and so is everybody else here. I'm yet to walk out of here and go, all right, well, that was mediocre. I walk out of here and I'm like, <laughs> right on. Yeah, I know my car is taken care of and mine's a 2012, mm -hmm. yeah, my Mini Cooper. So we're going on like just over four years and it's got almost 81,000 miles, I think right now yeah. on it. And she keeps it running like perfect. She really does. Oh, and the technicians, just real quick, are the technicians certified? Or are they like master technicians? I don't know how that quite works in your world. They, they all have to go through specific mini training. Some of them go straight from school to mini training before they even come to us. Um, really? Sometimes they'll come to us. We've had a few that have come to us from other shops. They get set straight to a, a strictly mini only training facility for um, a week to two weeks, depending on their experience. And they continue training all throughout their careers. Uh, wow. to get higher levels up and higher levels up. So, yep, it's, it's constant training that Mini puts everybody through um, throughout the entire career that they're here. It's usually at least once a year that they go and do some updated training on the cars. So. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Dude, see? You don't get that at, like, Joe Schmo's car shop down the street. And it's impressive. I, I don't worry about my car at all. Like, not in the least. And I think on this last service, you guys found bulbs that were out as well, a couple of bulbs. I didn't know. I mean, I do my best to keep my car clean, but my brain is about cameras and filming and shooting and social media and all the other crazy stuff that we do. All right, well, I'm not gonna take any more of your time up because it is Friday, like, ta-da, Friday. <laughs> and it's also the Friday right before 4th of July holiday weekend. So I'm sure she's got some big plans for some barbecues and you know, all kinds of crazy food and massive parties. She's probably gonna do a rave or something like yep. that. <laughs> I'll be here working, so. Yes, <laughs> me too. I'll be yeah. behind the computer this weekend. Right. Um, Michelle, thank you so much. It is truly, as a, as a customer, as an advocate for really good customer service, it's been an honor to be able to come here and know that my best interests are taken to heart because it's, I know you don't take it lightly. And it right. showed just with the little coffee thing that we had last year and this most recent experience where it was like, the car's done, come pick it up. Well, you can, but Christine can come pick it up. And, yep. Wow, and it was like in a day. It was really in a day. It was really cool. Well, we appreciate you as a customer. I mean, people like you make our job easy. And she makes when, my life easy. It's when, all her. It's not me. I'm just not really cool. <laughs> when, our, when my passion is cars and to make sure that they're taken care of, it's, it's you know, that's, know, some, to some people that's not their passion, but to me that is, and that's what I'm here for. So I'm here for you and your car, and I will make sure that I can do the best that I can to take care of it for you. It shows. It totally shows. High five. It's all about you. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're very welcome. And why don't you share with everybody where you're at here in Minneapolis and how they can reach you or get in touch with you here. Yeah, uh, Motorworks Mini. It's in Golden Valley, Minnesota, just um, just west of the downtown area. Um, our website here is uh, motorworksmini.com. You can reach me directly if you choose to at my desk phone, 763-233-3793. I have it on speed dial on my iPhone. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh, Michelle's calling. And the location is super easy to get to as well. You're on Louisiana right off of, I don't remember the number. 394 in Louisiana, right off the freeway, you got it. And they've got a ton of stuff here, so come check her out. Definitely, I encourage you to do that. And until my next video, <laughs> this is David Esquire coming to you live at Motorworks Mini here in Minneapolis, Minnesota. And next to me is the rock star, Michelle Shaw, and she will definitely take care of your car. And that's it. So as they say in the Mini Cooper world, motor on. Motor on. And we'll see you soon. <laughs>